and down. Uh, obviously, we've got this list. We've got Palantir, Lucid. Uh, o actually can be a fun one to trade. Hymns. Uh, that one's going to get bought off strength. But um, I've actually never really fucked with Rocket Labs at all. That sounds like something Cade would trade. Um, definitely don't buy Microchip. All three of these companies are unbeknownst. I don't know anything about them. So we can take a look at them if anybody else. Is no good. Uh, this is being recorded for YouTube, so just, just FYI. Um, you can talk, but just be careful what you say. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know anything about these. I, I was just saying that uh, Rocket Lab sounds like something that you would trade. Sounds mm, like I have traded it That's and okay. lost my butt on it. Okay. <laughs> um, also, I think that we should also go. Uh, we're so I'm going to look at these charts. We're going to go ahead and look at uh, some of the ones Celsius. Um, Jorge, are you going to trade that one? What'd you say? My bad, I was muted. Uh, Celsius, are you trading that one for earnings or? Nah, I had it above. Uh, last Friday, I took a uh, swing at 77 to 80, and mm -hmm. right now it's, it's doing it a little bit. We're at 78. I want to see how far it goes, but no, the contracts are pumped with the IV right now. Uh, uh, PLPR has earnings tonight. So I'm going to give out my predictions or whatever you want to call it. Um, and oof. Every time I do my screen like that, it, it fits terribly. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the 24 hour here. And the first one is PLTR. Now, this one is literally at cost basis so if it breaks higher we're now looking back into the weekly right where again i can see a gap down there this means that you could have a shit earnings where you go back down to 23 35 and stay there and that would still be bullish fyi um at the same time right if we are potentially going to go down that could be something that's worth noting right we're potentially at our downtrend and fixing to go sideways and fall um but as far as upside price targets are concerned seeing the tap right here off of 27 the first price target outside of that it's very easy we're going to place it at the top right here obviously these candles tops is going to be 28.75 so that'd be one of the first targets that i have second target on pltr would be right here at the bottom of that red candle and that'd be 31 87 there's a potential second target here and i'm going to mark that at 3050 and that actually makes for a box you'll see the caught median area or basically just a preemptive box if you will so pltr looks okay going into earnings obviously you would this one needs to be more bullish uh i think that the the greater and this is i maybe i've never put it this way it would be better for i would be more aiming towards being bullish on this considering obviously it's in an uptrend so that'd be going with the trend um and uh seeing the fact that we did come back down retest and pop back up again if you drop i think that you stay somewhere in this range personally um but but yeah pltr is still still bullish in my eyes all right so the next one we got is I don't know if anybody wants me to do symbiotic I, I or whatever the fuck that is, but we'll, we'll, we can take a look at it if one of you guys want me to. Um, Potter, can I run something by you real quick? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Thought process on these earnings. Yeah, go ahead. So within the last week, you know, we were still kind of in a teetering environment. We weren't sure if we were going to be going for a downturn or not. And then last week happened with the Fed. It looks like signals are pointing back to bullish. Um, Earnings the last couple of weeks have been beats and still the stock mm -hmm. negatively reacted or we yeah are you gonna go possibly be hesitant into this to see how the, the market reacts with some of these or are you strictly just playing this the setup needs to be clear. So let me be like like I don't yeah, the setup needs to be clear. So that means that I want to be able to see like empty space or and or structure up above and or below. So that way um, that that gives reasonable price targets like a bigger move overall. Um, I, obviously, staying away from names like Apple and Microsoft, um, you know, I think they've already had their earnings, but um, 
you know, those are the names that, uh, or anything along the lines of that, Coca-Cola. Those are the earnings that I typically avoid because, yeah, those are ones that typically, given the beat, will still end up falling. Um, now, that being said, yes and no. I mean, I mean I'm considering the set, uh, like, the overall market and the fact that, yeah, some of these bigger companies have received decent earnings or good earnings and then fallen off of that. At the same time, there's also been earnings that have kind of been out the way, right? Not on the regular watch, not on the Apples, the Microsofts, the Googles, and those have been reacting just fine. So I think there's spots that we could potentially fit in, if you will. And again, it's always, when you're playing earnings, it's always about, A, should you be playing it, first of all, at all? Can you afford that? And obviously after the last, I mean, month, uh, for me, trading has been great. Um, and uh, so affording, you know, again, to throw in maybe 150 bucks at each side um, on a couple of different really good setups is not a problem with me. Um, obviously not entering without my hedge. I mean, I, I typically always straddle. That's something that, you know, if you don't know this, you should know this. I go in and I try to find really low risk target based contracts up and I try to find a, a if I'm biased down then it's the opposite right but then I'm trying to find that equal risk that low risk target based contract to the downside you know so that way if there is really the only thing I need after that is a big move it doesn't matter which direction it goes um, because I've had earnings where I put in $200 on both sides and that $200 turned out to be like six grand, you know, so like there's been really crazy earnings and that's, that is what I'm, you know, trying to look for. And, and a lot of those, I could see a reasonable, uh, I could see reasonable targets, but they looked clear. Like it looked like, okay, that's a lot of empty space. If we drop on earnings, it's the same everything that earnings is it, it still triggers the same shit like when i took elf right i took elf off of earnings going back let's see where were we right in the 80s yeah it was here this was the earnings that i took out that i bought equity uh the contracts on elf not so great but what i did see was that right and then what i did see was this so for me i said okay we're sitting in between these two boxes for equity, right? I can go ahead and grab puts if I need to, but I'm going to go ahead and buy these at that. And then, and then again, this is earnings happens after hours. We had captured or reclaimed that floor of, of uh, 85 bucks. So going ahead and looking forward, I said, all right. And this is what I was saying to Jorge earlier, right? And, and Elf, or excuse me, a firm is a little bit, tighter when it comes to stacked levels but there's two triggers and given a volat uh, an event that drives volatility um all right sorry about that um so anyway we've got a uh area of consolidation here um this is obviously what I'm looking for going to the upside. And then we had all time highs. I also looked at Alta as kind of a guide. And again, lo and behold, that worked out really, really well. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's ultimately it, Dutch bros. Oh man. Is that have earnings soon? Tomorrow after hours. Tomorrow after hours. Okay. Yeah. We'll take a look at that one too. I, I, I actually like that company which is rare for me. I don't really think yeah. would, uh, do much fundamental stuff. So, all right, keep it moving guys. Um, so anyway, uh, getting back to lucid, um, I daily kind of, it's got, it's got empty space, especially up to like $4 and 20 cents. Um, now uh, again, weekly, you have a floor that's 270. It is being reclaimed and a cost basis of 320. If that is broken, I'm giving you a target of 430. If 430 is broken on that very same earnings, I think you'll end up hitting uh, a high around $5. And at that point, we could consider them there to be a bigger or a larger channel. As of right now, I think it's more or less built along the lines 
of this. So maybe we get another re resistance tap up there. Um, but at the same time, the channel says that you could drop to the 150. So, um, all right. Hymns. Now this one's dropping off of some dumb shit. Um, obviously we've got top here. That's the cell wall and you are dropping underneath it with a lot of empty space underneath you all the way down to $10. So again, risk to reward doesn't really speak volumes of this the only what's up i think that's drop off news i think they said something that wasn't yeah. like that's what i was saying cool yeah. Or something. It, it, yeah, yeah. It really, he was commenting on uh the protests and stuff like that but oh. uh again you know just to keep it about price um we've dropped underneath this mark here and then this is the target underneath you through that empty space uh you do have empty space as you've fallen as well and empty space all the way up there so you could be looking at more of a bucket right or whatever cup if you want to call it that if it makes you happy um but this one and i'm going to try and make this comment on each one of these uh this doesn't look like something that i would take unless i was trying to aim all the way down like all the like this to be a downtrend and aim down to like and that's that doesn't make sense yeah you're not even going to hit the bottom of that channel so anyway uh so that that's a pass on on my my uh my end here so what do they do okay do you know what they do make rockets i well? misspoke i haven't traded that one i was just starting it myself um i was talking about rocket uh like the rocket finance so this is totally uh, different than the one i lost my mail oh uh, weird okay this one actually looks like a lot of consolidation a lot dude and if anything it looks like it could squeeze back i think i looked at this this morning it's on the bottom end of that consolidation so it, it, it's it, a it's little curling back up so i mean who knows maybe you get it another is. 722 mark um they launched and there's nothing underneath so they launch small satellites into orbit oh cool so do i uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I could, I could see something happening here. It looks interesting. I have to look at the contracts. I, I sent my uh, son's um, uh, drone into orbit on accident. Damn, dude, Did you? Yeah, it was on camera too. Just kept going. Wait, it's see kept flying up, up, into up here space? with the Tesla satellite. Yeah, just kept going, going, and going, and then all of a sudden it just kind of got grainy, and then. Well, bam, gone. Never saw it again. The alien got it. You went back home to the mothership. Dude, uh, Rocket Labs is cheap. So, obviously, this one, I don't need 3.5s and $5 are the exact same price. Fuck around with the, the bid in the ass there. Try and get down to, like, maybe 2 if you can. But uh, it, the spreads are wonky. The If it does go in the money, though, it actually probably be a pretty d decent play. So, if you have the money, maybe a little bit, a few contracts there. Um, yeah, let's see if they'll accept. Yeah, you can go out like three weeks on those five dollars, and they're still all like the same, no bids. Yeah, I, yeah. I no, nobody's buying on those, but I mean, that's what makes it low risk. Move, then you're a win, a wiener. All right, um. Are you going to, before you move to the next one, are you going to move on that? I think I am. I think I'm going to take it like yeah, four weeks out. Oh, I didn't take $5. it. $5. I just took it for this week. That could be a mistake. I think I even saw something on that on TV before. Like, yeah, like I think what they made is crazy. Yeah. I um I just took like three weeks shot. out. Sorry. Three weeks out, $5 were only five cents. So. I saw it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, dude, I, I, I'll let you guys know right off the rip. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't fuck with this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even, I mean, it's not even worth me giving out too much analysis. I mean, maybe. Peyton's evil laughing in there. That's scary. You all right, Peyton? Oh, hey, I want to play. I'm so raw at Mario Kart, dude. I'll come beat mom, dude. Don't worry about it. Give me a minute. Uh, 5662. It would be the target to the upside for me on O. Um, but I, I wouldn't even bother with that shit. That's trash. 
All right, if anybody wants me to do any of these random ones, you let me know. But otherwise, I'm going to move into tomorrow, Disney. I've already given you guys my target for that one. Uh, again, looking at how it moves on earnings, if it does go down, which, again, there could be a short opportunity there. I think it's it's going to take a little bit. So you might dip back under. Again, uh, I, if I was going short, I'll give you my targets. It'd probably be short down to 107 and 105. And then to the upside, I would just be looking at this very same high of 123 and then 130. 130 would actually be the most reasonable target. Uh, or one, excuse me, 125, sorry, would be the most reason, uh, reasonable target. Um, Disney. And we've got Celsius, which I know has some empty space up there. Now I'm gonna look at these on the weekly first. It's, okay, so let's paint a picture here, right? Bam. We got a pullback retest off of that mark. We do have further empty space underneath where we broke out from. So there's that box under there and there's your leg down. So obviously a downside target here would be the 60 period end of story, right? 24 hour time frame. We then can start building a little bit further. Bam, bam. And then same thing right here, bam. Bam, and it looks like today you've actually reclaimed or opened on the floor, leaving the area of consolidation underneath you. And so that opens up empty space to at least 80. Well, I think you would break up and fill all the way to 91.50 just off the 24 hour time frame. Look at that shit. And then, yeah, so right now 80.82. This actually doesn't have a terrible earnings setup. Let's take a look at the contract. Yeah, it's crazy, right? A dollar ninety. I see. If I if I'm looking at a measured move here, and I'm looking at earnings right here, earnings right here sucks. Earnings here is pretty damn good. You move from 47 to 54. Uh, same thing here. So that, and it seems like it's picking up volume now. And now it's getting more volatile. So that is a bounce 61 all the way to 82. That's pretty damn reasonable. So I don't think it's far-fetched to say in the hundreds where maybe I could take a 110. And I like oh, the one. Yeah, you see what I'm saying here? So I think I will. I think I'll buy a little bit of the 110. At 20? Yeah, I'll put 150 bucks. That's around uh, <clears throat> eight contracts. I'm super curious to see, see how you how you pick your downside. We'll figure that out when we get there. Don't do it, Dewey. Ugh. I just watched that. It's good. Nvidia is done for today. 115s could be interesting. You said Nvidia is done for the day? I think so, man. It's getting that, it hit that 19 I bet when I went out. Um, I'm thinking of re-entering, but I just think it's just going to get stuck in that channel. 919, that's it. That's what's it. That's my cost base is on a box. It just entered the box and it's just getting cut away. Got you. Okay. Um, I'll take a look at it in just a moment. Um, so $60 right now, 35 uh, so I already said this earlier, oh, hey, I don't know if you missed this part, but right here, this is where we already pulled back, retested, and so the volume's been extracted off of that, a volatile event should shoot us through this box underneath and put, put us down right at 60.85. So, oh, okay. yeah, so, uh, you could do $60 puts, but you just want to buy less of them. I would, so this one, I would try and equal that dollar amount of like 150. Make it even on on the dollar yeah. scale. You're saying? On both yeah, I'll just heads. take it even on the yeah. dollar scale. So I'm not taking them. I'm just I'm just watching, but I just want to see how you. All right. Cool. Oh God. All right. 
so that's pretty decent little earnings setup there. Uh, Datadog, and I'm trying to hurry up on this so I can get it out before. Okay, so what's the first thing that we notice about this? What's the first thing right when you see this? I immediately see it. I see it's kind of kind of where it's your in range. It looks like an imbalance above and below with those two candles. Range. We in, are but in range. Up. So we know that right now, whatever whatever has happened on this earnings, look at the earnings here. Now I fucking love Datadog. Datadog rips and earnings is when it does. You'll actually so this is you guys are seeing it live right now. This is what you're this is a earnings mover. How do I know that? I can literally just use my eyes and see. Right? You can just look. Nice moves on earnings. Now, this has not always been true. But as it's in trend, it does rather well. And typically, so let's see. Let's see, in range. In range. See him coming out of that earnings. So I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, I do think that the channel is going to look something like this. And so there's a downside target right here of 112, but I need to look at the contracts on data dog. Dog. Insane. Absolutely insane. I'm priced out on that one. They, somebody knows some shit or something. Those are fucking jacked. Who the fuck? How the fuck? <laughs> more, more or less. Yeah, those are absolutely insane. The chain goes almost $25 out. And the, on on the call side, it goes it goes like $52. So we'd have to have a $50 move. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I would love to play Data Dog, but we're just going to go ahead and leave that alone. So, good setup, bad contracts. What the fuck? Okay, so this one's in consolidation as well. It has empty space up above it all the way here to one. 37 and a box right there break point right there 128 that one looks almost too good to be true um and then underneath you so i don't really i see that bounce there and i see this right here which is kind of an unusual bounce level it's 113.44 um mother's day's this weekend guys stop talking about it because you're making me think that i'm it's here yeah, calm down. I was getting scared. Yeah, so target to the downside would be 113 and 137 to the upside. So let's take a look at the contracts. The contracts are... Absolute trash. Holy shit. Damn. I mean, that, that's the kind of shit where you just buy a contract. <laughs> I'm not fucking with it, guys. Um, again, I'm, I'm looking for a specific thing here when I'm looking at earnings. That one's not worth it to me. Uh, I don't even know why I'm going to look at this, but I'm going to look at it for a brief minute. You know what? This one has too many shares to fight. And I don't think earnings does. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But this is one, two, three, and it does have a fuck ton of empty space up above you to 89 cents. I ain't touching it. Fuck that shit. Uh, Nicola, race, Ferrari, uh, does not look like a great, earnings does really well though, earnings does really well though, earnings is trash, earnings is okay, earnings is okay, earnings is trash, so whatever is happening right now with Ferrari, they're getting more volatility, I see a fucking channel here to the downside, I see a box that's getting excuse me I see a box like so 
So, I mean, upside target would be like 450. Downside target would be like back down to its 394. I'll take a look at the contracts. Again, it's all about risk to reward here. I'm not trying to fucking put real money on the table here. I'm not trying to put $10,000 on the fucking earnings. Um, you can get the upside. The upside seems relatively well priced, but then the downside, 394, those are too pricey. So, again, trying to, I really want 20 to maybe $30 contracts would be preferred on most of these earning trades because compounding is where power is at. Now that looks fucking crazy. Um, let's go look at the weekly here. I assume they're gonna post record profits. I don't know. How did they do on earnings? That's the first thing I missed here. Do they react to earnings? Earnings, no. Earnings, yes. 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 Now BP's contracts are relatively cheap the last time I checked, right? They should be. So the upside target here on BP would be the tippity top for me, which would be around $41. $41 is $22. To the downside, my first target to the downside would be here in that structure below. And that would be $36.68. So I'm not I'm not mad at the idea of possibly getting 4150s. Again decent moving movement on earnings I'm kind of I don't know why but I'm a little biased to the downside 135 bucks 150 bucks get you uh, you can get 10 contracts and let's see here downsides 36 36 dollars you can actually buy if you're going equal amounts you can um, yeah if you just put you get 25 contracts basically to the downside so all right, so I got a little straddle set up on that one, uh, targeting the 4150s. 41s are okay too if you just want to spend more and buy less. Um, and then 36 is also uh, to the downside of my target. So, all right. I think this one has a good chance to go to 41 or maybe even rip outside of it, but we'll see what we get. All right. Check on Z uh, XOM as a sympathy to BGP. Yeah, I'll get, let me finish this up real quick. Uh, Geo Group, and that's all I'm gonna do for this video. So, we'll look at Geo. That's ugly. <clears throat> Very boxy though. Weekly. Yikes. Upside target would be seventeen dollars. Downside target would be all the way to twelve. I'm not really. Uh, I guess depending on how the contracts move, I'm wondering if their earnings is going to be. I mean, they're they're crazy cheap. So if you wanted to shoot for sixteen dollar calls, even uh, or sixteen fifties, you could. I'll grab a, I'll grab a little bit of those. I'm not going to buy a ton of this geo stock that moves every once in a while. On earnings, it does very seldomly rip. They get a really decent dump, but it's a. I would say probably stay away from buying anything heavy or just don't. I could spend less than a hundred bucks on that. All right, all right. So other other than that, guys. Um, I mean, earnings wise, I think Celsius. You know, Data Dog looked good. The contracts were shit. Um, I think Crocs had a little bit of empty space. Hims, uh, PLTR, honestly, is one of those ones that it, it looks pretty good. Um, I think we saw you know a little bit of potential here on Rocket Labs. Um, but uh, there's more earnings coming this week. I think really, really turning up the heat here uh, Tuesday. So uh, tonight we can 
look over the earnings for a after or for tomorrow um, as well as the so we'll do them in sets obviously before the bell after the bell um, there's some really good ones like toast uh, lift twilio uh, win upstart uh, rivian will be interesting um, and then uber shopify affirm uh, toyota um, edit um, are probably going to be some relatively interesting ones for me so anyway uh, if you are watching this video later on i hope you guys have a a good trading day but remember earnings are always a risk and if you are somebody who's trying to build something you need to stay away from that kind of stuff and build it on opportunities that are presented outside of earnings so 